Hello folks, uh, uh, this is 2019 October November paper 2 2 and the uh, question number is 3. The first question says uh, state Newton's third law of motion. I leave that to you because we have done it many many times. So I'll directly jump to question number B. It says a block X of mass MX. So this is block X mass MX slides in a straight line along a horizontal frictional surface. So friction is 0 as shown in figure 3.1. The block X moving with a speed 5b, so speed 5b collides head on with a stationary block. So that means its velocity is so this is Vy is equal to 0, 0 of mass my. The two blocks stick together after collision and then move with a common speed V. So common speed V as shown in figure 3.2. So now the first question is use conservation of momentum to show that. Uh, the ratio my by mx is equal to zero so if you apply the law of conservation of momentum what you must have is the total momentum before the collision should be equal to the total momentum after the collision so before the collision the total momentum is so this is mx um, mx into its velocity which is a 5v plus my into its velocity which is zero should be equal to now the two bodies are combined so that's why the mass should be mx plus my and their combined velocity is v so it is v so this is the equation for the conservation of momentum so this thing is zero this thing is zero so what we must have is uh, 5 mx v plus zero should be equal to mx v plus my v which gives us if I shift it over here, it becomes 4 mx v is equal to my v, v and v gone. So we must have or 4 is equal to my by mx. So this gives us the ratio my by mx is equal to 4. Proved. Now, in the second number, we have to calculate the ratio of total ke of x and y after collision. So after collision means in this condition divided by total uh, k of x and y before collision means in this situation so after collision the energy is so uh, k e total k e after collision after is equal to uh, 1 by 2 the whole mass the whole mass is the combined mass mx plus my then velocity square the combined velocity is v so it is v square and that's equal to 1 by 2 and uh, from here, from this equation, I can have uh, I can have m y is equal to four m x. So that's why I'll use m x is okay plus m y is four m x then v square. This will be equal to one by two into five m x v square equal to five by two m x v square. So this is k e after. And before the total ke before is equal to before is equal to so one by two the k of the first body which is mx then five v whole square plus k of this thing which is one by two my then uh, v square the, the v velocity of this thing vy is equal to zero so it is zero square so this will be equal to one by two mx 25 v square equal to 25 by 2 mx v square so therefore the ratio is equal to the ratio is equal to total k after after by 2k before so it's equal to ratio is equal to 5 by 2 mx v square whole divided 25 by 2 mx v square so everything goes goes 2 2 goes so it is 1 by 5 uh, so 5, 5, 1 by 5 and that's equal to 0 0.2 so the ratio is equal to 0 0.2 or 0 0.20 if I use uh, uh, 2 SF or something like that it will be 0 0.20 so it should be either 0 0.2 or 0 0.20 so pretty uh, long thing but still uh, it's a good result so now now the remaining question is like this state what is the ratio ratio in uh, 2, 2 means uh, this thing uh, for a perfectly elastic collision so it's ask us what is this ratio called so this ratio is so 
so this ratio should be equal to equal to equal to equal to uh, so it's asked for the uh, name actually name actually so the name for this ratio is we call it a coefficient of restitution it is called as coefficient of restitution and uh, its value is uh, equal to for elastic collision this is not elastic but for elastic collision its value is equal to one its value is equal to one for elastic collision so you have to uh, touch it slightly in your theory classes so uh, number c the variation with time t of the momentum of block x is for x in b a is shown uh, in figure 3.3 .3. so what happens is it is for momentum of x so the initial momentum of x is x is uh, uh, i have given here it is uh, this this only it is 5 mxv so this thing is equal to this value is equal to equal to 5 mxv so this thing is equal to 5 mxv so it means that it means that we must have uh, so this is uh, five large squares one large square second large square third fourth and fifth so this should be 4 mxv this should be 3 mxv this should be 2 mxv and this is b should be 1 mxv and this is zero you know so uh, for this body for x body the graph is like this initially it was a 5 mxv then uh, the collision took some time some, some time and after the collision it is just mxv so mxv we can know from here as well so after collision after collision the momentum of this v has been mxv only now block uh, block x makes contact with block y at time t equal to 20 millisecond describe qualitatively that means we don't need the value the magnitude and direction of the resultant force if any acting on block x in the time interval 0 to 20 millisecond from 0 to 20 milliseconds the momentum is constant so momentum constant means momentum constant means momentum constant means 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 velocity constant velocity constant constant so that's why that's why that's why there should be no resultant force so resultant force should be equal to zero here uh, from 20 to 40 millisecond we have uh, momentum decreases momentum decreases momentum decreases so means 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 that uh, the velocity also decreases velocity also decreases so there should be there should be there should be force resultant exist it uh, exists and it is uh, uh, in opposite direction opposite direction to that of that of uh, velocity or momentum because its value is come to be negative slope negative so value of uh, uh, force also will be negative <clears throat> so now number two number two so c2 on figure 3.3 .3, sketch the variation of the momentum of block y block y with time t from uh, uh, from from t equal to 0 to 60 millisecond so we have to draw the graph of momentum for block y <coughs> block y so let's go for go for uh, the values here let me fold the <coughs> previous space previous space uh, see here i have folded it like this so it becomes easy for me so initially the momentum of y is equal to zero y equal to zero before collision so that's why from here to here from 0 to 20 0 to 20 20 20 20 20 it is 0 it is 0 then 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 after collision after collision its momentum is uh, uh, myv equal to myv and the value of myv becomes equal to becomes equal to 4 mxv so 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 after collision its uh, velocity its uh, momentum becomes 4 mxv so this is the graph for, this is for after collision so this will be for after collision yes now from here to here we have to draw a straight line and this time i have got a ruler or scale so let me use it here let me use it here uh, so i have to do this very very carefully carefully or i can do it just like this so since i have to I do this in an awkward position because uh, arranging a camera and coming nothing in between is very difficult 
sometimes i'll post my photo of me recording this video or this type of videos how awkward position i do have how awkward positions i do have definitely awkward you laugh at it so this should be the process of increase of the momentum of y so this gives the graph of the variation of a momentum of a block y with time t from from 0 to 60 milliseconds so this is for x and this is for y